Microsoft aims to play a significant role in helping to achieve this goal by expanding its equity equivalent program. To talk us through this program is Clifford Devet, who is Developer Experience Director at Microsoft. Thank you very much for joining us. Hey Colin, thank you for having us. Right. Tell us about this uh, equity equivalent program. What does it mean? Yeah, so the Equity Equivalent Program is a, a program that Microsoft established um, with the DTI, basically to be able to help us uh, together incubate a bunch of black-owned uh, ISVs. And I think it's really just important to set some context on, on why ISVs. You know, Microsoft's obviously a software business, and at the end of the day, we believe that software really is something magical. Um, you know, uh, we have a new CEO, and, and really our mission statement is to empower people and companies across the planet to achieve more. And if we look at that, if we look at what software can do, we think that ISVs are very special because they create software products. And software products really, if you look at them at the base level, equate to basically SMMEs in the, in the software environment. And so we chose uh, with the DTI to incubate small black-owned software product companies because we believe just like in the SMME environment aligned to the NDP, that these companies, as they grow, have the ability to scale, and through scale to create jobs, to create employment, not only in directly in the software industry, but of course, they end up hiring people to support the industry around I them. understand you've chosen three companies uh, for incubation. Uh, what criterion did you use? And since we have nine provinces, where yeah. are they located? Yes, so actually we have uh, five companies in the, in, the, uh, in the program already, and we've added an additional three. Um, the, the, the companies um, come from two, uh, one from KZN, one from, uh, actually two from KZN and one from Johannesburg, all the three that we've added. Um, and really, they, they, they just, they, they're, as I said, they're black-owned companies. And we looked at them with a very strict set of criteria. You know, they, we looked at them as they must be creating products already. So we're very specific on software products. And we looked at them at the ability to grow. We looked at them at the ability to be strong financially. Really, what we're looking for is companies that if we invest in, and we, this, really this program is the pinnacle of the Microsoft investment in companies. If we help them, if we support them, how could they scale? And so we're really excited by these three new companies that we've added to the program. Now, there could be other young people who are interested in the IT sector wanting to develop software programs because we actually overlook job opportunities Correct. outside the, the IT industry. Exactly. So what is it that they must do in order to follow up on this initiative? It's a fantastic question and something that we've thought long and hard about. So Microsoft's actually put in place a number of programs to take people basically from unskilled and unemployed through to creating their own companies. We have, we have programs that allow people to use us a, a content repository called Microsoft Virtual Academy that we teach people how to create software programs. We actually have a studio in our, in our Joburg office, one of the few outside the Redmond campus, where we localize African content to put in that studio to teach people the concepts. We then have another program, what we call the App Factory, to teach people how to become really good developers. We have a joint uh, partnership with Vits on this, where we teach people how to create software with. But the most important one, and the, the one before I could recover it, is we have a program called BizSpark. And in that program, we have several, uh, over a thousand software companies in the country where we incubate them, teach them about how to create software. We support them with a grant from the Jobs Fund. So we have a great partnership with the Jobs Fund and government on this program where we help them to you know, work on this, their software development plan, help them with marketing, help them basically to run a business and become successful businesses. All right, uh, Clifford, you agree with me that we don't have time for now, but really to create 54,000 jobs is a little bit ambitious for you. How do you think you'll achieve that target? Yeah, I mean, and, 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 and I know the IDC numbers say 54,000 jobs out of the software industry. Again, I think this is why we believe in this ISV business, because we believe that if we create, and as, as I mentioned, we have several thousand companies in our BizSpark program, equated to this equity equivalent program where we really have depth, depth, very specialized companies. We believe if we create, uh, if we create success in those companies, the mm. ecosystems around them will end up hiring incrementally more people. And we believe we can create several thousand jobs through that. Oh, okay, what contacts should uh, they, they, they follow? Yeah, so we have a great uh, website, microsoft.com uh, forward slash bizspark is the, is the website to take a look at, to take a look at our, our software. And then we have an equi equivalent website. If you just go and look at the Microsoft that's forward slash South Africa website, you'll get all the details there. All right, thank you very much for your time. Thank you, Colin. All right, uh, we're talking here to Clifford uh, DeVitt, who is Developer Experience Director right here on PM News.